Abba is coming to Liverpool. What? Well, I should say Abba's spirit is coming to Liverpool over the next few weeks and over the summer of 2023 in the form of several celebrations and dedications and also in the shape of some of the costumes that were designed for Abba's voyage concert. In today's video, we will talk about all of it and realize once again the continuing impact of Abba. So since last week and until the end of August 2023, you will find the real life handmade costumes from ABBA's Voyage Show on display at the British Music Experience. More precisely, the marvelous so-called Phoenix Outfits. The British Music Experience is a permanent exhibition on the waterfront of Liverpool. It's a journey through the history of British rock and pop music from 1945 to present day. Now, they themselves recognize, of course, that ABBA are not British. We all know ABBA are not British, but their music is ingrained in the national psyche and with ABBA Voyage landing in London, we know the feeling is reciprocated. ABBA Voyage is groundbreaking. These outfits symbolize the truly remarkable creative vision of the group and we can't wait to give our visitors a little glimpse of the show. The Phoenix costumes were designed to embody the rebirth of the group, showing them as a mythical phoenix rising up as its next incarnation, ABBA Voyage capturing the reinvigoration of ABBA's music as this new form of live show. The outfits were designed physically by B. Orkelund and then digitized so that they can be virtually worn by ABBA's own avatars on stage. In the press release, B. Orkelund said this about the design. The Phoenix look was created to represent ABBA's limitless ability to transform and rebirth themselves in the world of music. I dove deep into their archive to take inspiration from their past costuming particularly their infamous cat looks. With that in mind, I wanted to approach these looks with a new metaphor, one that represents metamorphosis, and the phoenix was the perfect vessel to carry that idea forward. Each garment was handcrafted and beaded with thousands of Swarovski crystals, all of which took months to complete. These costumes also remind me of Abba's beautiful iceberg outfits from their final concert tour, so they really cross space and time. The Phoenix costumes were designed in collaboration with Indian fashion designer Manish Arora, who is known for his psychedelic colors and the combination of traditional Indian crafts with western silhouettes. Just recently, we also talked about an upcoming exhibition at ABBA's very own museum in Stockholm, The Creation and Making of Voyage, the album and concert experience. That exhibition will have three more outfits from the Voyage show on display. The jumpsuit costumes, the metal mesh costumes inspired by ancient Egypt origins and the Dolce and Gabbana outfits inspired by Greek mythology, again capturing that spirit of rebirth and creating a godlike imagery. With all of these costumes, their goal was a contemporary vision, a mix of high fashion and fantasy. I really think we should do a video about these fascinating voyage costumes and also maybe one day a video dedicated to Abba's classic wardrobe. They were always so good in capturing the spirit of this world, from their kimonos in Japan to many reflections of their own Swedish culture through the colors and shapes in their costumes. Somehow I wish the real members of ABBA from today would have actually worn the real voyage costumes just for the sake of curiosity and fun for a photo session or something. And I really wonder why that didn't happen as far as we know. I think that could have been very nice to see and certainly funny. But for now, the iconic Phoenix costumes are on display in Liverpool and there are many more ABBA-related activities and dedications that are taking place in the city of the Beatles. Just a few days ago, the University of Liverpool has renamed their main centre square from Abercrombie Square to Abercrombie Square. Over the next few weeks, they will celebrate music and culture with a festival called United by Music. A new temporary name started as a joke during a meeting but then, with the help of students and fellow university staff, an unofficial new street sign of Abba Gromby Square has been made. And for anyone who is interested, not far from the university's campus, you will find Liverpool's Concert Square. There will be a concert across three nights by tribute band Abba Forever, in honor of the universally adored Eurovision legends Abba. All of these events are part of celebrating the Eurovision Song Contest, which will be held in Liverpool this year. There is a real buzz around the city and Eurovision, and it is going to be lots of fun for everyone involved. 
The party atmosphere will be electric. We are excited to welcome all the visitors to the city and to give them an amazing experience of Liverpool. So isn't it fascinating and wonderful that it is none other than our beloved ABBA who are the center and representation of unity. Of course, we know very well how ABBA has always been exceptional in combining so many traditions and musical styles from all over the world into their own songs and, as we have seen, into their visual presentation as well, through their multi-layered costumes. And that spirit is now taking a life of its own. ABBA is literally coming to Liverpool in many different shapes and forms, and their music and legacy continues to be big, inspirational and relevant, as much as ever, and even more. I think there couldn't be any better time to witness this incredible resurgence of ABBA, and to have all of us being together for it. Today, it is exactly five years to the date when that incredible announcement came. ABBA record again. Two new songs after 35 years. And look at where we are today. We've come such a long, unbelievable way. I may quote a recent comment from one of our friends here on YouTube. Her favorite moment was the opening night of Voyage. All of this is a dream come true thanks to ABBA having the courage to take a huge risk, reputationally and financially. They were so brave and I have nothing but endless admiration for what ABBA did. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Alright, until then, hey